Welcome to Moroni's Weekly Wrap Up Week 5. I'm Grace, a senior news reporter, and this is the news. This week saw student politics season come to a close. The undergraduate student body embraced the executive policies put forward by Lucky Day's ticket and appears ready to experience what his new leaf has to offer. Turnover in New Leafs candidates will comprise all executive positions outside of the Vice President for which current Disabilities Officer Madhu was elected. Self-proclaimed Supreme Chancellor Ryan Clough likely suffered from an ever-shrinking population on campus. His string of communist-inspired policies didn't prove as popular as he might have liked, but I guess he probably doesn't think voter turnout is a legitimate basis for authority. Unfortunately, the student body rejected the concept of more parties, or maybe Zeus? We'll have to run further checks. The college and general representatives saw a much more even split to that of the executive, with no party winning more than half the positions on offer. And I guess we can all count on Cahill, unlike the way we can count on a regular public bus route through campus. Voter turnout was up. Almost 12% of the undergraduate student population cast their ballot, up from the 9% that did last year. However, it is still significantly down from years prior to 2018. Tram news! No real tram news this week, sorry. So this week, in honour of the magazine and our theme, Psyche, um, I thought I'd take you all through my co-star. Uh, for those of you who don't know, CoStar is uh, a horoscope app that gives you a fun little daily affirmation. So we'll start off with a few of my favourites. Has falling in love with a fantasy ever worked out well for you? No. How's your heart doing right now? Hatch a conspiracy with your closest friends. Crying is a physical release, but what can it teach you? Probably nothing. Be reckless. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. Figure out how to get paid for being yourself. I would be so much richer. So much more money. Most people are doing the best job that they can. It's not even an <laughs> You are not your thoughts. Some fucking Descartes shit. It may help you to remember that every pleasure, every pain, and every body is impermanent. Does that not just mean death? <laughs> and finally, from my co-star to you, don't succumb to despair. It'll pass. <laughs>